Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of the MSR Workshop. So many of you know that other than woodworking, I enjoy home theater a lot. And I have come across a product that I think will solve a huge problem with home theaters. So stick around and I think you'll enjoy this. problems that I've come across is being able to control my devices in such a way that I'm able to turn them on and off um, all kind of at once to be able to set what's called a macro. So I'll say, you know, turn my theater on and say my amplifier turns on, my AV receiver turns on, my TV will turn on, uh, subwoofers, speakers, whatever. But not all of those devices can be controlled with a remote control. Now sometimes on the back of your device you'll have a little input called a trigger input. Now that trigger will usually connect to the back of an AV receiver and so when you turn your AV receiver on it will turn that other device on. Usually these are reserved for things like amplifiers. Um, also subwoofers will have them. Uh, subwoofers will also have a thing where it's kind of an auto sensing thing where you leave it on all the time and if it detects a signal that subwoofer will turn on. In the past, I haven't always liked to leave my subwoofers on. Now, the reason because that is, is I feel that sometimes if you have, depending on your signal, you always have a great signal to send to the sub and they don't kick on right away. Um, I feel that just leaving it on all the time is possibly not good for it. And I've also had a subwoofer that when you had the auto sense on, whenever it sent that signal, it was kind of like a little bitty power surge that sends to that sub, kicks the amplifier on, and that sub um, with other people had gone bad. There's a little resistor in that particular subwoofer where it would get that little power surge and you would get early failures in that device. Um, so that's got me to thinking either I want to turn my devices on and off manually or figure out another way to turn them on and off. And here is what I've come up with. So here is this device that I was talking about that solves my huge problem. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's a power strip, but it's not any power strip. This is a CASA smart power strip. What do I mean by smart power strip? This is controlled by your smart home devices, such as an Alexa. This comes in two models. It comes in a three or a six outlet model. And each one of these individual outlets can be individually controlled individually named and individually programmed to do different things. Now it's got three USB plugs, all are five volt 2.4 amps, and they are not smart controlled, but all of these are. So in my theater system, what I've used this for is I'm able to plug one of my amplifiers in here that does not have a trigger out on it. I'm also able to plug another amplifier that does have a trigger. Of course, I don't have the cord for the trigger to plug in the back of my AV device, so this solves that problem right there. I also plug both of my subwoofers into this because I don't want to leave my subwoofers on all the time. I want to be able to turn them off, leave them off, and also have them protected by a power strip with this also a surge protector in here. So I have programmed each one of these, named each one of these what they are, and then also have them on a macro where I can say blank, turn my theater on, and it turns everything on in sequence. This is super cool because a lot of older devices don't have any way to power them on without you having to walk up there and individually turn the things on. Well, this is grounded, this is surge protected, and each one of them is individually controlled. I think this solves a huge problem in a lot of people's theaters if you wanna be able to turn everything on without having to walk on and push lots of buttons. Now, looking over the back, you do have mounting points if you do want to mount this to the wall, and it is substantially built. This isn't a light, cheap filling power strip. It's quite uh, beefy filling. And there is a fair amount of space between each plug, so if you get some larger plugs, 
they don't tend to crowd each other out as some uh, power strips do where they're so close together that if you have any width on that plug, you can't plug things in next to each other. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I really do think that this is a game changer for theaters because this brings automation to the masses. Whereas before, if you had an older device, a less expensive device, there was really no good way to connect all your things together to be able to turn multiple things on without having to get up and switch a lot of things on. This eliminates a lot of that problem. If there's anything else in your home theater that has been a game changer for you and has really helped streamline your movie watching experience, I'd really like to hear about it in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for all the content that I create. Thanks guys.